Okay, I'm gonna answer a question here for Josh, Josh Vogel. I'm gonna do this while I'm driving, so bear with me. In terms of getting in shape, losing weight, a ketogenic state or a catabolic state versus an anabolic state, you know, how is it possible? How can you burn fat and get, get in shape and be ripped if uh, you're not catabolic and forcing your body to burn, burn its uh, fat stores? Well, the answer to that, it's simple. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at it from uh, the stance of the body was designed to to do the best that it can at all times. Okay, that's 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 why the body's you know evolved this many years, and it's uh, such a magnificent thing. When you go into the gym and you're 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 gonna you're gonna cardio. Excuse me. When you're going to the gym, you're gonna do cardio according to, you know, typical typical workout regimens using a ketogenic state or catabolic metabolism. Basically, you wanna go into the gym on an empty stomach, do your cardio, and that forces your body to burn fat stores for energy. So while you're on that piece of equipment, whatever cardio you're doing, your your body is just pulling fat stores for energy the whole time. It's very it's very grueling. It's very tough. It's hard. Um, makes you feel makes you feel drugged down, and depleted. So you know the entire time you're doing that, you're supposedly burning fat, and you aren't. It works. It's true. You're burning fat. But what happens when you're done? Then you go back to your regular eating schedule, and you keep your calories low, so you're staying depleted all day. So you're constantly burning fat. You feel like crap. You feel like crap. So what, what's the, what's the, what's another way? What's the solution? Well, the solution is with a supernatural lifestyle. What happens is, I say, feed your body, feed your body before you go do your cardio, and be specific with the type of conditioning you choose. So let's say we're gonna wake up in the morning. Well, you wake up like any morning. You wake up, you have a piece of fruit, start the metabolism, get those sugars in there, stop that, uh, stop that eight-hour fasting. Then you go do your conditioning. Your conditioning is going to be some type of plyometrics or anaerobic activity. Sprinting, stairs, um, pushing a sled, pushing a truck, something like that. So what you do is you have the food, you get the glycogen stores built up, now, now, now you're ready to go. Your body has has what, it's need, has what it needs, it has its fuel to rock and roll for this workout. So you go into your workout, then you do your sprints, you go as hard as you can. You go as hard as you can in your sprints because you're, you're, you're fueled up for that. So what happens? You give all you got, you do all that you can, you feel good while you're doing it. When it's over, you're tired. So as soon as, as, soon as it's over and you're tired, what do you do? You eat again. Eat more fruit, re- replenish the glycogen, drink your water, have your protein, keep your amino acids coming in. What happens? Your body says, thank you, I just got everything I needed. So now your body goes into an anabolic state and what happens? Your metabolism is elevated. Now your metabolism is gonna do the work for you and burn all the calories that being in a catabolic state would have done. But now, because you're in an anabolic state and you fed your body correctly, you stay on your regular meal cadence, your body's gonna continue to burn calories throughout the day, throughout the next day, and maybe even part of the day after, if you went hard enough. And that's how it works. So that's how you're able to stay in anabolic metabolism and burn fat. You heard it first. I'm Aaron Reed. Good luck. One meal at a time. Thank you.